Our team coverage continues with Audrina Bigas outside AJ's home. And Audrina, detectives were there earlier removing several items from the home. Yeah, Erica, and that's the first time we knew early this morning that something new was developing in this case. Since then, we started looking through the history of DCFS with this family, and we started digging through criminal reports in the history for both parents. We dug up criminal records dating back to 2013. That's when Joanne Cunningham faced a battery charge. She negotiated a plea deal, paid a fine, got six month supervision, anger counseling, and drug addiction treatment. The same year, a retail theft charge, another plea, more supervision, more fines. Fast forward two years to 2018. Cunningham was charged with driving on a suspended license. That case, still active. As for the father, Andrew Friend, he's a lawyer but he's under disciplinary probation conditions because his license was suspended, held in contempt of court. Records show financial trouble too. His home where AJ lived is in foreclosure and he's representing himself in that case. As for his criminal history, Friend was charged with retail theft in 2013, one year supervision and drug and alcohol treatment. A year later, he had two battery charges, but found not guilty. And this was all happening while the Department of Children and Family Services was investigating Cunningham for neglect after AJ was born with opiates in his system. AJ was put into protective custody in 2013. Then in 2015, records show AJ was returned to Cunningham. In 2016, the case was closed. It picks back up in 2018. DCFS began investigating abuse allegations against both parents. The results? Unfounded. At the family home this morning, we saw investigators carrying out large bags, a shovel, and a small mattress. Then McHenry County Animal Care and Control removed a dog from the house. And this evening, a DCFS director tells us that the department is looking through all of its dealings with AJ's family to find out if there were any shortcomings, as he calls it. But tonight, he says the, the key focus for this department is keeping AJ's younger brother safe. Right now, he's in protective custody. We're live in Crystal Lake. Audrina Bigas, CBS 2 News. Erica? Thank you, Audrina. In about an hour, two vigils will be held for AJ. One will be outside his home there in Crystal Lake, the other at the square in Woodstock. You can see a complete timeline of the investigation on your phone or computer. Go to cbschicago.com slash AJ.